Hello everybody and welcome to another shader graph tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to look at this black hole uh, shader thingy. So you have, um, I have these spheres assigned to them, this material that has the shader. And the basically the, the black hole is in, in the center. And this is the effect. Right? Pretty cool, huh? You can obviously change where you want the center to be. And so on. So this one is going to be a short one. Uh, and that's because I'll just show the shader graph and explain it. So here's our shader graph. It's pretty simple. Let me sense this. So let's start by looking at these. We have the, the normal setup of a normal map from a texture that's not, not necessarily related to this shader, uh, connected to a normal strength, um, an albedo texture, uh, which is unwrapped, multiplied by a color and an emission um, color, which is connected to the emission. The magic is obviously in the position stuff. So, uh, and there are actually two um, two methods or two different um, approaches to, to have a different um, effect. Let me show you what I mean. Um, so if we use this and we add these together, Let's save that. Now, the effect looks more like this. It's just the scaling down and going to the black hole. And that is accomplished by um, subtracting the position of each vertex from the position of the object. You will get um, a vector which points from each vertex to the center of the object. So this vector, if you add it to the position of, um, of each vertex, all the vertices are going to, be, to end up in the center of the object, which means it is scaling down. Um, and then you need, uh, you need a vector from the position of the object to the position of the black hole, which is just a vector three um, parameter that you can change, right? And then you can add these two vectors together so that each vertex is going to go to its center, right? And it's going to go towards the black hole. Pretty simple. Now, we want to get the length of this vector, which is how far uh, the, the object is from the, black, from the black hole, right? And then we want... Um, we will use a lerp node from zero to the range, right? And um, the T is the effect, which is between zero and one. And range is just a value that you set based on how far the furthest object from the black hole is. So you can see if I have the effect one, right? If I reduce the range, then it's only going to affect these. Right? And if I increase the range, it will affect more. And that's because, again, we are lurping between zero and the range uh, using the effect. And this value we are subtracting it from how far each object is, which means it, it it's it's like a um, it's like a sphere expanding from uh, the black hole towards whatever range you set, and once that sphere have the 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 object inside of it, then this subtraction is going to have a value of. Um, increasing above than zero, right? Uh, and we want it only to be between zero and one. We don't want more than one. 
uh, and then we use that to lerp between um, nothing and the vector that we, we want the object to end up at. Um, and that is going to be added to just the normal position. Um, and then you just uh, transform from word to object. Now, the other approach that I had uh, at the beginning was uh, you can use, instead of subtracting the position from the black hole, you can use um, this, right? And then uh, not add anything. So basically, get me um, the... Well, I'm sorry. This is, this is the one. This is the one that we don't need. Basically, give me the... Uh, the vector from each vertex to the black hole and then add nothing to it and then use it for for the for adding basically transforming each vertex towards the black hole um, and then use that length also for the calculation of how far the object is from the range multiply or yeah basically the range so saving that going back here doing this will result in the old stuff, right? And I already assigned this um, shader to most of these. Um, let's see, what are we missing? This one. And it's pretty quick, but Yeah, pretty cool as well. You can watch it from here. It's like sucking everything. Pretty nice, I like it. I hope you liked it as well. Um, so thank you for watching and consider to subscribe and hit that like button and see you in the next one.